I'm trying the salted caramel cookies flavored Kit Kat. The next day. <laughs> this is very, very, oh, he looks so cute. There's a bigger version of this in Sleeping Buddha near Bangkok. You go there as well. Oh, this is so pretty. Sawadika. Okay, Big Buddha is done now. Nice, it was like a 15 minutes thing, no? It was very simple. It was just stairs, Big Buddha, and that's all. But the best part about Big Buddha is like the behind landscape was beautiful. Like actually, landscape not uh, So I'm. I, I have that excitement that you know we're going to the beach and all. Yeah, yeah, we've seen it today on the beach. But yeah, now we have uh, the second stop of the day is the Sanctuary of Truth Museum. So let's go there and I will take you guys along. I'm trying the salted caramel cookies flavored Kit Kat. Let's see how it is. Three hours later. So I'll be the English staff to do the guided tour at this time. And I spend time together around 45 minutes to an hour only. So after that, your free time. And you can see here until 6 in the evening. By the meantime, please follow the tour. Okay, so never only start our journey. So after they cut the wood, they bring it in the carving department where the wood is coming artists do their job patiently. I'm sure it's quite hard to see the real traditional process like this. Okay, everyone here you can see how does the museum is then created piece by it depends on the sizes and measurement of wood. After that, each wooden piece will be Okay, the first one is Inshan City Museum, was built 1963. Second one, Our Saint Trial Tooth Museum, was built 1981. And the third one is Iowan Museum, was built 1994. Sample of wood joint technique of Halberga Museum without nails. Okay, you can touch them all and learn how it works. The wall, for one piece of wall only. At the back, it is a curving decoration. So if we want to add more walls, they use this one, the long dove tail, okay? So what they're going to do is they're going to add more and more. Also at the back, it is a curving decoration as well. Okay, next one, you have a one. This is the technique of how we interlock the balcony and the columns without nails. So the female and male will join technique. Okay, interlock this one together like this. Alright, so next one here, everyone, we have a wooden pin. This one, and wooden wedge. And to lock this one together, and originally, everyone, we are using this as a nails. This is the Ramayana Epic. So the story of Ramayana, it reflects the truth that in every society, there is always good and bad, but at the end, good always win over evil. So through the picture of the monkeys and the giant. Okay, everyone, the picture of the monkey, it represents the good society. While well, the picture of the giant, it represents a bad society. This is the balcony. So it is inspired by a Singha Banchorn or Royal Balcony. Used for granting public audience and special occasion. It is decorated with Borana Kapalit. So that is the only mechanic 
used inside to help handicap elderly and pregnant women. So everyone, it's it is so also made by wood. Okay, right there. Number one, this out here will show you the concept of human equality. That no matter how rich you are, where you came from, or what the religion you believe in, so we are all the same. And we are compounded with the four classical elements. Okay, the first one here. This is the element of earth. It is considered to be the most solid, comparing to other elements. Let us say as conscious of animals in forests. In a body, this is the skin in the bones. Second one, element of water, which also known as liquid. It refers to a sculpture of the wave, and the sea plants, and sea animals. In a body, that is blood, plasma, sweat, urine, in our tears. Okay, third one, element of fire. So it represents a picture of the dragon breathing fire. In our body, it refers to energy, body temperature, in our emotion. Okay, last one. That is element of the wind. It represents to the breath of our life. So the other one, you can see a picture of swaying clothes, moving leaves. In our body, that is gas in oxygen. This all here reminds our life cycle from we are born to we die. So we rely on nature. Without nature, we could not survive. Though some people might run up something with money, some are not. But it doesn't matter because what really matter is we're going to buy the nature. So that is another truth of life which are all the same. We depend on nature. Okay, but up there, I want to share the picture of men and women. So that is the symbol of our parents that gave us life take good care of us and teach us how to be a good person. So everyone, that pen sculpture there, it represents to the beginning of human life. Okay, the ceiling over there, it represents the universe. Okay, down there, that is Mother Earth. Or in Thai, they call me Tuani. So she is a symbol of earth who provides food, accommodation, and shelter. In front of us here, this is the sun that gave us day and light, represented through God's sun figure. Right there in the corner, that is the moon, who bring us high and low tide or the sea level. Truth of life, the center of the museum, and the place where Buddhas really are enshrined. So it depends on the concept that we are born to die, and no one can escape the death. Therefore, our life is an emptiness. However, the only thing we leave to the world is to either we create good or bad to the other people. Considering the truth, it can help us grow over life consciousness, reduce passion, and find our own happiness. So everyone, as we can see here, inside the throne with no decoration means that when we born, we came nothing. So when we die, we take nothing with us also. So that reminds us emptiness of life. And the Buddha is really there. It reflects the truth that even the Buddha could not escape the death. However, what he leaves to the world is the philosophy of life that we're gonna follow. So everyone, so we are now here at the food to the life. And as we already recognize that no one can escape the death. So everyone, this all here will show you the great example of people who live good things into this world. So everyone, even though they live the world for hundreds of years, but their goodness and philosophy still impact many of us nowadays. Okay, the first picture there. So that is the picture of Avalokiti Savara. Okay, opposite side here. This is Deva or Divi. Okay, next one here is minus three. So everyone, these are the group of people that overcomes all negative emotion or feeling like greed, anger, and passion. Okay, second picture, picture of Lao Tzu, an ancient Chinese philosopher and the founder of Taoism, which also known as Yin Yang. So Lao Tzu represents natural balance. And next one here, 
So this is the picture of Confucius, or in Thai, they call Kong Tzu, an ancient Chinese philosopher and a politician. He is a symbol of loving others, respect elder, humility, and self-discipline. Okay, that picture there describes his one golden rule that can be interpreted as what we do not wish to ourselves, do not do to others. So everyone, confusion short is karma. Okay, next one here. So this is the picture of Guan Yen. She is symbol of sympathy, mercy, kindness, and love. What does it say there? So that is Passion Go High. The eight immortals that cross the sea and his unique power. So everyone, that picture there. This kind of situation where the people bring different talent to achieve success. Okay, so actually everyone, you can see him anywhere. Like for example, in the 1000 Thai Bat, money, okay? You can see his full face. So this is the former king of Thailand. Okay, so His Majesty Pomi Pong, and Dolly the Great, or King Ramanai, the father of King Ramatan. So His Majesty initiated thousands of development projects aimed at improving living conditions of Thai people, such as self-sufficiency, not to be greedy, reduce our passion. And lastly, he supported all religions equally for over 70 years until now. Okay, okay the first column here, everyone, explain the concept of people we choose to associate determine a lot in the life where we're going. Representing up there the picture of two men abusing the other men. So that is a symbol of how a bad person can influence other people to do bad things. And below, we can see a picture of a man. He is reading a book, a symbol of a good person doing good things. So everyone, if we are searching the good people, it can lead us to the good thing as well. Okay, moving on to the second example, everyone. Here, at the very small part room, but it has a big meaning in our life. Okay, so everyone. Since we are now here at the last room, does any one of you has any idea what this room is all about? Okay, any one of you has any idea what this room is all about? Family. Family? Okay, so everyone of you, I think, guess exactly the family correct. Okay, so everyone, we are now here at the family room or the beginning of the society. So everyone, when we know the family, so that is our first teacher, first friend, and first school. Okay, so this family sculpture here of father, mother, and children does not just only represent our biological family, but also to the people who we love and care, like a family as well. Alright, everyone on the ceiling up there, it represents the picture of the sacrifices of our parents step by step. Gave us life. Okay, second, mother and father take good care of us. Third one, they provide us education. Fourth, teach us to be good to other. Fifth, our parents protect us from bad people in bad society. Six, they support us to get our job. Seven, they support us in our married life. And lastly, our parents give us their property to ensure our future will be good. Okay, everyone, well done here. It's all about the sacrifices of our parents, of how kindness and tolerance they have been trying to raise as well. Because without our parents, we are not in this beautiful world. And without our parents, we are not who we are right now. So everyone, we should love and thankful to our parents. They may not be perfect, but they try their best to give us a better life. Later. We are at the airport. We are at the bus station. We are waiting for a bus to catch and go back to Bangkok. Hey, but today the Truth Museum was really good. The entrance was 500 baht. But when you go inside, it is a very simple concept of live and let live. Can I tell you how to I can't tell you how to explain it. I can't tell you how to explain it. I can't tell you how to explain it. 
ఈ మొక్క ఈ మొక్క ఇట్లా కలుపుతాం మేము నాకు అవి నచ్చాయి మూడు దిన్న కానీ నాకు అన్నిటికైనా ఒక డౌట్ ఏమి వచ్చింది తెలుసు అండి నాకు ఐశ్వర్య పైకి వచ్చినప్పుడు నాకు వచ్చిన డౌట్ ఏంటంటే ఇంత మంచి కట్టారు ఈ వుడ్తో ఇట్స్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ అండ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ చెదలు పట్టవా బట్ ఇట్ వాజ్ రియలీ నైస్ లైక్ దట్ ద ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ వాజ్ మెచ్చెస్ట్ అంటే ఇఫ్ యూర్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ సంబడి హూ లైక్స్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ అండ్ హిస్టరీ అండ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ యూ విల్ లైక్ ఇట్ అండ్ యా బ్యూటిఫుల్ పిక్చర్స్ అండ్ వీ ఫౌండ్ తెలుగు పర్సన్ గుంటూరు రోడ్ అక్కడ కలిసి అసలు ముచ్చటదే దెన్ ఐ రియలైజ్ దట్ వెన్ ఐ వాస్ టాకింగ్ టు ఐ రియలైజ్ అబ్బాయి దగ్గర లగేజ్ ప్లేస్ పిచ్చ పిచ్చగా ఉంటుంది ఈ గోట్ కెటిల్ ఈ గోట్ రైస్ ఈ గోట్ పచ్చడి మనం ఒక్క పచ్చడి తెచ్చుకొచ్చిన దానికి కూడా మనం పిలిచి లేదనుకున్నాం ఒక మనం పచ్చడి ఎనీవేస్ ఐ విల్ టాక్ టు గైస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఎయిర్పోర్ట్ వన్స్ వీ రీచ్ because then we will fancy up ya we will na or we will fancy down and i'll see you guys from the airport already we finally reached the airport i started reading the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i'm on chapter 3 already and i love the book it's nice so far i love how she's like kind of tying together all the details however we are all exhausted and tired this is leaping in the airport because we have an early morning flight to yeah she's going to be very nice there should have been some plastic wrappers and all i know 100% homeless I'm so tired yeah homeless everything we have a flight in the morning and we have to check in at around 3 o'clock so it didn't make sense to us to kind of like book in hotel and all of that so we thought we'll just chill here i'm going to read the book have a little sleep i'm going to end the vlog right here for the pataya come back for kosamuni because that is where we're leaving to i'm excited if you like such kind of travel videos go ahead hit the like button subscribe to my channel come join my family it'll mean a lot to me and i will see you guys in my next video bye